Viewers, the big story on India up front comes today from the Supreme Court. Viewers, a few days ago, another institution was targeted by the opposition. The Election Commission was accused of being biased towards the BJP and its allies. In particular, the Shinde faction of the Shiv Sena. As you all know, viewers, Eknath Shinde is the Chief Minister of Maharashtra. He became the Chief Minister after the Uddhav Thakre Shiv Sena split. And a number of MLAs expressed their interest to join Eknath Shinde in an alliance with the BJP to form the government in Maharashtra. Uddhav Thakre smarting from the Election Commission's decision to take away the name and symbol of the Shiv Sena from him openly called for the disbanding of the poll panel. This is, of course, only the latest instance in a growing trend. In the past, when the opposition has not had election results go their way, they have often suggested that the Election Commission has rigged EVMs to favor the BJP. The court's viewers, not even the Supreme Court, have been spared either. When judgments haven't gone the opposition's way on the back of policy decisions or emotive issues, the opposition and the ecosystem sympathetic to it has accused justices of favoritism, of harboring some sort of ideological bias. You all remember, viewers, the Ayodhya judgment. In the Ayodhya judgment, even though a five-judge bench unilaterally and with total cohesion ruled in favor of the Hindu side and granted the Ram Janam Bhumi to the Nyas, viewers, a large number of opposition parties came out and said very clearly that this was a black day, that the judiciary had also now sprouted Hindutva feathers. Viewers, coming back to the Election Commission, Uddhav may have launched an intemperate attack on the Election Commission, but the Supreme Court hasn't backed him. Uddhav's lawyer, Kapil Sibyl, had vehemently argued for a stay on the Election Commission's order. The Supreme Court bench, led by the Chief Justice of India, has now issued a notice and, viewers, not issued an immediate stay, saying that there are prima facie no grounds to do so, at least as of now. Of course, viewers, the notice will be heard, the notice will be replied to, and it will be replied to by both the Shiv Sena as well as the Shinde faction. This matter will go on, but prima facie, the Supreme Court has not sided with the Uddhav Thakre faction's demand for a stay on the right of Uddhav's nemesis, Eknath Shinde, to use the bow and arrow symbol of the Shiv Sena, or even occupy the offices of the Shiv Sena in the State Assembly or the Parliament. Viewers, first listen in to these reactions as they have been coming in. Anani Sarvachya Nihale ne jo humare dousre gut hai, unho ne jo maang ki thi ki Manani Nivannuk jo election commission hai, unho ne jo nirne diya hai, wo nirne ke upar stay ki maang ki thi, lekin Manani Sarvachya Nihale ne unki maang kharij ki, aur ho maanye nahi ki hai, aur konsa bhi stay election commission ne jo nirne diya hai, uske upar konsa bhi abhi stay nahi hai, aur do hapte mein unki jo baate hai, wo submit karne ke liye court ne adish diya. Manani Sarvachya Nihale ne bahut ही क्लियर कहा कि हम पूरे आपके डिमांड को स्टे नहीं दे सकते तो इलेक्शन कमिशन ने जो निर्णय लिया उस हिसाब से पार्टी के इंटरनल प्रोसेस वो लोग कर सकते हैं। I don't think the justice will be denied to us. Let us wait now. Honourable Uddhav Ji Thakre has given a letter to Eknath Shinde that he should be the leader of the party and the Sudhil Prabhu will be the VP of the party. Now, election commission has not at all considered 
they only in fact force us to submit the membership forms which we, to the tune of 20 lakh we have submitted. We have challenged the decision with the Supreme Court. Um, luckily Supreme Court has given a decision that they, uh, they have kept the case pending. Given this, Uddhav Thakre in the interim can't retain the Shiv Sena symbol or even the offices in the Legislative Assembly and Parliament. More than that, Uddhav Thakre could end up losing bank accounts linked to the Shiv Sena and also the iconic Sena Bhavan in Mumbai. The BJP hailed the Supreme Court interim order as a vindication for democracy and a reminder to Dynas that they don't have an automatic claim over their party. Indeed, viewers, while the matter will be heard in the Supreme Court over the next few weeks, the question remains, did Uddhav Thakre forget that the party doesn't represent the interests of the Thakre Parivar, but is actually a platform or a vehicle for the public's aspirations?